RMU's Facilities Management Project Updates. School of Nursing and Health Sciences. The heavy bulk excavation work is completed for the future site. Phase 1 of the loop road is complete. We reuse the soils from the excavation site to further stabilize the project. As part of the master plan, the loop road will help continue to organize the campus as well as manage traffic flow. The loop road will eventually connect Pennsylvania Avenue and Massey Way, which means if you're driving up past Wheatley Center, you'll be able to drive above the School of Business and out by the Colonial Village. You will continue to see some earth moving activities at the School of Nursing site. A 35 to 40 car parking lot will be constructed through mid-September to be completed by November 1st to support parking needs. York Town Hall now opened. At full capacity, a remarkable 500 students are living in the space currently. We quickly prepared for their arrival with upgrades that include student gathering spaces, study rooms, a ResNet office, fire alarm upgrade, security enhancements, a new roof above the fitness center and ballroom, as well as new air conditioning units in the rooms. Exciting changes happening now include a 3,700 square foot brand new fitness center with a target opening date by October 1st. Please look for further announcements by Student Life who will be running that operation. The lower level cafe is more than just a cafe. It will be an 8,500 square foot venue for music, dancing, and group events. Operated by RMU Dining Services, the cafe will be open daily with a variety of menu items. For an example, you could craft your own specialty burger, similar to the popular burgatory concept. The cafe is scheduled to be open by mid-October. With the extra space at York Town Hall, Student Life can now provide dedicated activity space for our students. For an example, some of the meeting rooms have turned into a yearbook office, nursing, honors and recreational lounges, and fraternity space. Lexington Hall, a major capital renewal project which consisted of flooring and paint throughout the entire building at a cost of $300,000 was completed in July. The domino effect, multiple departments have moved. Let's start with the Teats House, which was previously occupied by Alumni Affairs. Alumni Affairs moved to Lafayette in order to consolidate the entire Institutional Advancement Department. The Center for Global Engagement moved from the Nicholson second floor to the Teats House. The Counseling Center expanded into the Nicholson second floor. Student Health Services is moving to Jefferson Center. The new location is easily accessible behind the Jefferson Health Club. The site is to feature three exam rooms, an office, reception, waiting room, and a conference room. The project is to be completed by the end of September. The Office of Student Civic Engagement and the Tutoring Center will remain on the second floor of Nicholson. Due to the large freshman class this year, traditional hall entry lounges have been converted to residential rooms. Rooms have new furniture, a private secure entrance, and powder room. This conversion provides 31 more overnight student housing spaces. Site Improvements Phase 1 of the Master Plan Monumental stairs are now connecting the sole upper parking lots to Nicholson Center. Phase 2, which is planned for next year, will eventually connect the proposed promenade to Joe Walton Stadium. Parking Lot Enhancements Complete reshaping of the upper sole parking lots and a brand new sidewalk was completed to enhance pedestrian safety. Academic Affairs Upgrades Phase 1 is completed. The reception area received new flooring, paint, lighting, and furniture, as well as an additional private office. Phase two will be reshaping of the provost office and adjoining offices with the same cosmetic upgrade. The part-time faculty office in Hale received a cosmetic upgrade and a wall was removed to open the space for more informal gathering. 
basketball locker room upgrades. Men and women will receive a cosmetic upgrade with new lockers and technology to be completed by October 1st. Phase 2, a tiered screening room for women and a men's TV lounge will be completed by November 1st. New location for men's basketball office. Look for Andy Toll and staff on the sole third floor. Their office suite is being constructed across from the PA suite to be completed by October 15th. Utility replacements. We had a storm early in the year and Duquesne Light determined lines needed to be replaced. So at no cost to RMU, overhead power lines from University Boulevard up the campus side of Barry, Revere, and Benjamin Rush were replaced to improve reliability and safety. You will see Duquesne Light Trucks next summer as they continue to replace overhead lines through the center of campus. As always, we will continue to communicate through work announcements via your RMU email account regarding important updates on all projects. Thank you.